Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Alamin ang ilan pa sa mga pag-aaral na tinalakay sa nakaraang 39th Annual Scientific Meeting ng National Academy of Science and Technology Philippines. Kasama ang ilan sa ating mga expert sa fisheries and aquatic sector, maya-maya lamang yan. Kaya tutok lang. Samantala, alamin ang update sa larangan ng science and technology ng bansa. Dito lang sa Balitang Rapidos. Regional Science and Technology Week, matagumpay na idinao sa Region 7. Pinagunahan ng Department of Science and Technology Region 7, DOST Technology Application and Promotion Institute at DOST Philippine Council for Health, Research and Development ang pagdiriwang ng Regional Science and Technology Week o RSTW sa Waterford Hotel sa Lahog Cebu City. Naganap sa Cebu RSTW ang Technology Transfer Day, Technology and Innovation Conference, Second Central Visayas Health Research and Innovation Conference, Regional Invention Contests and Exhibits DOST Setup Awards para sa mga MSMEs at ang exhibit ng DOST Region 7 ng kanila mga programa na mag-aangat sa antas ng kabuhayan ng mga mamayan Katuwa ng DOST Region 7 ang Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry na nagsagawa rin ng kanilang pakupulong na tinawag na Stabic Up to the Next Level Cebu 2017 Entrepreneurship Conference and Expo ang RSTW ay idinaos alinsunod sa Presidential Proclamation 2214 na naamyanda ng Republic Act 169 ng 1993 na nagtatakda sa pagdiriwang ng National Science and Technology Week taon-taon. Chairman of Santec Feeds Corporation and also the Chairman of Fishta Seafood Incorporated. Let us all welcome Mr. Philip Ong. Good morning, sir. Good morning. All right. Uh, discuss niyo sa amin konte briefly yung inyong topic dito sa NAS 39th NAS Annual Scientific Meeting. Ano yung mga opportunities and any ideas about our marine and aquatic sector? Okay. So uh, the topic uh, okay. was uh, titled. Um, Beyond Bagumas and Tilapia. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at our uh, aquaculture production, uh, Bagumas and Tilapia takes up uh, probably about 75% of our fish production mm -hmm. yes. in terms of uh, in, in aquaculture. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the years, the volumes have grown, but we seem to have a difficulty jumping out of that uh, uh, constraint of uh, having just these two types of species. Mm -hmm. um, let's look at the last six years and uh, we can easily see that the 
aquaculture species that uh, grew was uh, bangus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seaweeds, in fact, mm -hmm. has uh, decreased by some uh, 400,000 tons. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's rather um, surprising that our mariculture sector is still thriving because of milkfish. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as it's all kinds of enterprise, the key to the production is the market. Yes. So apparently, ang ating market sa local at dun sa mga process kung na export sa mga Filipino communities mm -hmm. is still growing. Okay. okay. Um, in terms of method, ang ano nagbago sa last five years, uh, I, I would say that the driving uh, expansion of uh, Bangus culture is mariculture. Mariculture means fish cages in the sea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, unlike yung mga methods natin noon, eh, sa mga fish pond natin pinapalaki ang Bangus or kaya sa mga lakes. Mm -hmm. uh, the Philippines, as you will know, that uh, has a limited supply of fresh water. It also has uh, uh, limited uh, length and volumes of river. So, ang pinaka potential natin talaga is sa So, mariculture really is the future of uh, aquaculture if we are to exploit the, mm -hmm. the that way of providing uh, fish for our Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So, ano pagdito kanina seaweed? Totoo ba, sir, ng seaweeds daw ay kumbaga ngayon tinuturing siyang uh, more promising eh kumpara sa mga other maricultures? Um, I, well, the, the uses of uh, seaweeds of Karajina mm -hmm. is expanding. Yes. However, uh, for some reason, our uh, industry has been beset with uh, disease yes. and uh, mm -hmm. climate conditions which are not uh, uh, favorable. No? So if you look at 2010 versus 2016 data, we uh, dropped from 1.8 million metric tons to only about yes. 1.4 mm -hmm. million mm -hmm. metric tons. Hopefully, uh, it's a cycle that can come back. Okay. Uh, but since I'm, I'm more familiar with fish, mm -hmm. I think the same areas na, uh, that uh, used to grow seaweeds are very conducive naman for other types of, of marine species. No? Mm -hmm. And uh, in, our, in, in the case of our company, we, over the last 10 years, we've been pioneering yung nutrition uh, or feeds for lapu-lapu, uh, for sea bass, for snapper. Okay. Uh, rabbit fish, mm -hmm. yung rabbit dangit. Fish. Okay. Dangit. <laughs> okay, parang bago sa akin, oh. sorry sir. <laughs> so, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. And, 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 uh, parang, mabagal pa ngayon ng take up, pero I believe na doon ng expansion talaga natin. Kasi, uh, maaring masasawa din ng consumer yeah. sa bangus. Uh -huh. So, siguro, hahanap sila ng ibang alternative. Uh -huh. At saka mas mapakilala natin sa mga kabataan pag alam lang talaga ng kainin ng mga bata ay bangus, tilapia. Uh -huh. Di ba? Hindi nila alam. Ang dami pa palang varieties ng isda. Yeah, yeah. Oo. Pero mas mabilis pa rin ang pagpaparami ng mga production natin ito. Ta Tama. Kasi ang bangus at tilapia, very short ang uh, growth, mm -hmm. growth cycle nila. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung uh, katulad na, ang tilapia, for example, they, they can propagate very early. Uh -huh. uh, maybe within uh, a year, mm -hmm. nakaka, ano na, next generation na, no? Mm -hmm. uh, marine fish usually is not eh. Even bangus, for example, it'll take maybe five years for the female to mature mm -hmm. before it can lay eggs, no? Okay. So, Tapos different regions, may iba't ibang klase ng bangus, ano? O baga, sinabi mo, bangus galing Pangasinan. Ganun ba yun, sir? Uh, Talagang magkakaiba rin yung kanilang characteristics. Scientifically, we've not been able to differentiate, yes. no? I mean, uh, in terms of uh, DNA or oh. something, but uh, more or less, they, they come from the same family. Eh. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
yung classification-nya okay. is the same. Mm-hmm. At syempre, base din sa aming mga sources, ay tumutulong din kayo dun sa iba't ibang mga MSMEs pagdating sa R&D uh-huh. and Aqua sector. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, this started in 2010 actually, nung mm-hmm. when I attended a uh, PhilFin uh, convention. Mm-hmm. This is the Philippine Fisheries Institute Network. And uh, they were talking about decline in enrollment ng mga mm-hmm. fisheries graduate, uh, mm-hmm. fisheries course. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. um, so at that time, they were saying that it's hard to find work. Sa after graduating from a fisheries course, parang ang the only uh, work available is either so, uh, mag-apply ka sa BFAR oh. o kaya eh, magtrabaho ka sa feed company. Uh-huh. Gano. Um, so I thought, uh, isn't there a way of developing enterprises among the students themselves no, to, to help them create their... Ano, uh, if you're aware of other industries like, or other sectors like uh, IT, for example, itong mga, ano, Microsoft conducts business competitions mm-hmm. day in and day out. They're trying to look for disruptive ideas. No? Yeah. So sabi, sabi ko, we'll launch this program. We call it Enterprise Hatchery. We're in, we invited all the schools all over the country to enter. And mm-hmm. you know, the, we choose 10 winners every year. And... Uh, we uh, provide uh, a price sort of okay. uh, ano, wherein they can get as much as uh, 500,000 in funding as startup capital. Mm-hmm. Now, 2011-12, um, we, 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 we sort of uh, did this program with my universities. We went around the country to conduct what we call boot camp okay. to teach the students. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you can grow a fish or you can grow a crab, that's not enough. You have to find the market. You have to uh, put this together into a business plan. Mm-hmm. So yun ang ginawa namin for the last uh, uh, five years. Unfortunately, uh, the, the projects that we've funded uh, have not taken off. I believe that sooner or later they will. It takes time. Pero we've encountered another problem wherein mga studyante, after they graduate, mm-hmm. instead of uh, wanting to be their own boss, <laughs> mas maganda na lang, ano, the, mag-apply na lang ako sa... Maging employer, sa, uh, mag-employee yeah, sila. Sa yeah. trabaho, uh-huh. gano'n. So, it's been an uphill struggle trying to get okay. to convince them to, mm-hmm. to engage in business. But the ones that we've uh, funded, uh, some are starting to show results. Okay. Uh, that has sort of evolved into, uh, instead of sudyante ang target namin, we're now helping uh, some uh, women entrepreneurs sa mga uh, less uh, lower income areas. So what instead of asking them to present business plans, we are just leveling up whatever they're doing. You know. so. mm-hmm. Maganda pagkakataon to, sir, di ba? Parang nakita nyo agad yung impact ng inyong effort, yung pagsuporta ninyo pagdating dito sa mga kapatid natin sa agri and aqua sector. I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> na ma, 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 <laughs> may result na, pero uh, ang naisip ko noon was a 10-year program okay. and we will try to touch 100 MSMEs. Okay. No, so, mm-hmm. uh, right now we're no lo- no nowhere near mm-hmm. that number yet. Mm-hmm. Pero, well, uh, maybe through Sooner, your program yes. we can mm-hmm. invite them, no, to or even scientists. I, I believe that a lot of the uh, research results that are coming out of the SUCs, no, they're they're ano, eh, ready for commercialization. Eh. Uh, except that naghanap lang sila mm-hmm. ng startup funding yes. and we will offer that. Plus, ang na-engage ko yung mga professors ng AIM, uh, Ateneo, uh, uh, Business School. So, hindi lang yung uh, pagbuo ng idea kundi paghanap ng market, pag uh, ayos ng, ng sistema, ng production system, you know, 
may tulong pang darating sa kanila. So mm-hmm. it's not just the the money, no. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it will yield some results. Yes, yeah. abangan natin yan. At syempre, being part ng Governing Council ng PCARD, ano na yung mga future plans para mapakita natin yung potensyal ng marine and aquatic sector natin ng ating mga resources. Sa, sa ano po, uh, I was very, very happy that um, in the in the PCARD uh, format for the last five years, yes. uh, they focus on specific species. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to present the, the species okay. that they mm-hmm. chose. no, And for example, yung tahong yung uh, uh, muscle. muscle it was never a, a research area until uh, the secretary of uh, no uh, the, or our secretary uh, fo- felt, told people that we should focus on that and I think very very commercially viable ang muscle production mm-hmm, mm-hmm. especially you know uh you can see even in the restaurants um, ang lakas, lakas ng, ano, ng preference for seafood no? mm-hmm. and uh, clean muscles are hard to find totoo yan sir, at yeah. saka marami natatakot kasi pagka red tide Tama. So, uh, for, there are technologies mm-hmm. for uh, depurating mm-hmm. the, no, the, the oysters and yeah. the mussels no? so, so sana ma-apply lang na ito no? so in in my you know uh, more than I think I'm I've been in the, with the <laughs> governing council for more than 15 years. Okay. The last five years I think has been very productive. I'm just hoping that some of those scientists find partners in industry to apply yung mga find yung mga research results mm-hmm. nila, mm-hmm. and they're very very specific specific to mga species there. Mm-hmm. So be it itong rabbit fish na sinasabi yes. ko, yung uh, uh, grouper, crabs, there's been big uh, improvements sa crab uh, research. Yung a lot of the hatchery uh, are, are experiencing higher survival because of uh, the OSC's effort. Mm-hmm. No? So, maganda talaga yung nagagawa ng science. Sana maging mat- mas aggressive ang mga uh, businessmen or uh, farmers to adapt the results being generated by by the you know by the council tama yan at sama-sama tayo sa pagunlad at syempre alam natin kung gaano kayaman ang ating bansa pagdating sa mga likas na yaman ni Jose any final words po sa ating mga taga Subaybay well uh, congratulations to uh, the National Academy for their 39th year of uh, uh, having this uh, uh, conference. Uh, I'm very impressed with the attendance and I think it's our way of teaching our young people that uh, science is important. Sana lahat ng uh, ating ginagawa is science-based and uh, I'm glad that even in our small sector of, gr- of growing fish, naya-apply din namin ang science. Thank you so much and good luck. More power po sa inyo, sir. Thank you. Okay. Nakasama po natin ang chairman ng Santec Feeds Corporation and Fishta Seafood Incorporated, Mr. Philip Ong. Manatiling makatutok, magbabalik pa rin ang DOS TV Science for the People. 2017 National Science and Technology Week, Science for the People. Hello everybody, I'm Chris Tu and welcome to DOS TV Science for the People. At kasama natin ngayon ang Director ng Forestry and Environment Research Division ng DOSTP Card. Let us all welcome Dr. Leila C. America. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Okay, discuss nyo sa amin, ma'am, tungkol dito sa inyong exhibit ngayon sa NSCW 2017. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. So ngayon pong NSCW 2017, dalawang projects po namin na aming finiture. Tungkol po sa ferns, yun naman pong isa ay tungkol sa floral and faunal survey ng Central Luzon. So, uh, pinag-aralan po natin dito yung tinatawag natin na biological resources or biodiversity. When you say biodiversity, it refers to the variability in the genes, 
species and ecosystems level. So marami po tayong mga halaman at saka mga hayop na dito lang po natin makikita sa Pilipinas. Bakit ma'am ferns yung ating naging focus? Ang researcher namin kasi sa ferns ay si Dr. Victor Amoroso. So marami kasi tayong makukuhang economic importance ng ferns. Ang ferns kasi pwedeng kainin. Meron tayong ordinaryong tinatawag na pako. Makikita nyo to sa mga palengke, masarap siyang gawing salad. Very nutritious and of course healthy food. So ang pako, pwede din siyang gawing ornamental. Yung nakikita nyo mga pakpaklawin, yung malalaking halaman na pako, na ferns, maganda siya na gawing land, ipang landscape at gawing pang paganda sa inyong mga gardens. So, meron pala iba't ibang klase o varieties ang, yes. ang ferns. Okay. So basis sa inyong mga pag-aaral, aside nga uh, sa ornamental value, ano-ano pa yung pwedeng uh, mapakinabangan or benefits nito? May mga ferns din tayo na pwedeng gamitin for biological pesticide. Yon pinag-aaralan pala ngayon. So hopefully, pagka naayos na yun, uh, pwede na siyang gawing commercial at maging ibenta na sa market natin later. Sa ibang region, ma'am, ano yung mga nakita natin pa na possible o mga iba pang pag-aaral na ginawa ng inyong division? Sa Region 3 po, ang Central Luzon State University, may project po sila na pinondohan namin. So ang ginawa nila, nag-survey sila ng iba't ibang klasing halaman, kasama na din siyempre ang ferns, at mga hayop dun sa lugar nila. So ang mga lugar na nasakupan nito ay Baler, kasama din ang Nueva Ecija, at kasama din ang Bataan. So marami silang nakita na iba't ibang klase ng halaman, iba't ibang klase ng puno na dito lang makikita sa Pilipinas. So napaka-importante na itong mga biological resources natin ito ay ating mapakinabangan pero kailangan din natin silang i-conserve. Ibig sabihin ma'am sa paglipas ng panahon, meron pang, kumbaga ngayon pala natin na-discover, ganun ba yun? Uh, Actually, hanggang sa ngayon, marami pa rin bagong species ang mga researchers natin na nadidiskubre. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa talaga natin napapag-aralan ng lubusan yung ating mga biological resources. At malay natin, later on, baka yung mga iba nating sakit, dito natin makuha ang mga gamot sa halamang ito. Lalo na yung mga nasa forestry kasi yung division namin, ang pinag-aaralan namin na biological resources, yung mga nasa forests. At pati yung mga hayop na nandoon sa forest natin ang bansa natin talagang rich in biodiversity. Pero base sa inyong pag-aaral, saan yung pinaka siguro mayayamang lugar pagdating dito sa mga uh, inyong pagsasaliksik na magagamit natin? Meron tayong tinatawag na biodiversity rich areas. So Mindanao, specifically Davao, Cebu. Pero ang nakakalungkot, biodiversity rich areas nga sila. Pero Marami din naman ang nasisira na ang mga iba nating halaman kasi yung mga tao, yung iba umakyat sa bundok, nagkakaingin. So napaka-importante na malaman natin kung ano ano itong mga halaman na to para ito ay maprotektahan natin. Para yung mga susunod na generation, makita pa rin nila kung ano ba yung itsura, yung nasa likod ko, yung, ano, yung bayawak, baka later on kasi ang bayawak kinakain. Masarap kasi ang karne niya para siyang manok. So yung mga iba nating ibon, masarap din siya. So... Ang ginagawa ng mga tao na napupunta doon ay eh, kanilang hinahunting. So napaka-importante na mapangalagaan natin itong mga resources na ito na meron tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Saka ma'am, baka yung iba kala damo, hindi ba? Dapat malam natin kung ano yung halaman. Ay, source na ng gamot sa kung saan sakit, cancer. Halimbawa, kaya importante na kahit maliliit na halamang ito mapag-aralan natin. Para later on, mapakinabangan natin. Any final message na lang, ma'am, doon sa ating mga tagapanood? Uh, ang Pilipinas po ay mayaman sa biological resources. Pero kahit po tayo mayaman sa biological resources, ang kadalasan po ay binabaliwala natin at hindi iniingatin. So napaka-importante po na lahat po ng ating mga biological resources ay atin pong ingatan. Kasi later on po, ito po mga biological resources natin ay magagamit natin at mapapakinabangan natin. Salamat ma'am and uh, maraming salamat. Congratulations po at naka, marami tayo natutunan naman sa pagkakataong ito. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nagpapasalamat tayo nakasama po natin ngayon ang uh, si Dr. America. At maraming salamat po sa inyong division sa patuloy na pag-aaral na inyong sinasagawa tungkol sa biodiversity.
Good morning sa iyo, Jel. Good morning po sa lahat ng taga-subaybay ng USTV. Kasarikuyan ay yung malaking bahagi ng ating bansa ay nakakaranas ng maulap na may magpagulan dahil sa dalawang uh, weather system ang nakakapekto sa ating bansa. Ito yung habagat kung saan naapektuhan ang kalurang bahagi ng uh, Central and Southern Luzon. Samantalang yung ITZ, ito yung Intertropical Convergence Zone ang naapektuhan niya itong uh, Mindanao. Para sa araw nito, ang Metro Manila, Central Luzon, Mimaropa, Calabar Zone, Bicol Region, kasama na rin ang Visayas at Mindanao, ay makaranas ng maulap na kalangitan na may mga light to moderate rains at thunderstorm. Samantala, yung nalawing bahagi ng Luzon, katulad dito sa Northern Luzon, ay makaranas ng bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap na kalangitan na may mga isolated mga pagulan o thunderstorm. Sa ngayon, wala po tayong binabantay ang low pressure area o bagyo sa loob ng Philippine Area of Responsibility. Ano po inaasa natin sa susunod ng tatlong araw? Sa Metro Manila, inaasahan pa rin natin na magpapatuloy ng halos buong araw maulap at may mapagulan at thunderstorm bukas at sa linggo. Inaasa po natin na bubuting panahon sa Metro Manila pagdating ng lunes. Sa Baguio City, ay patuloy ng bubuting panahon hanggang bukas pero pagdating ng linggo ay uh, inaasahan po natin na magiging maulap na may mga light to moderate rains at thunderstorm. Pero pagdating ng lunes ay bubuti ulit ang panahon sa Baguio City. Sa Metro Cebu, magpapatuloy ang uh, maulap na kalangitan na may mga light to moderate rains and, at thunderstorm bukas. Pero pagdating ng linggo at lunes ay uh, bubuti ang panahon maliban sa mga isolated mga pagulan o thunderstorm. Dako naman tayo sa Davao City. Patuloy na magiging maulap at may mga light to moderate rains at thunderstorm dito sa Davao City bukas. Pero bubuti ang panahon pagdating ng linggo hanggang lunes at inaasang pa rin natin ang mga isolated mga pagulan o thunderstorm. O mayang hapon, inaasang pa natin ang araw lulubog sa ganap na 6.28 ng hapon. Para sa karagdadang update, I-like at i-subscribe ang uh, official na social media, media account ng Pag-asa sa Facebook, YouTube at Twitter. Bistayan lagi ang Pag-asa website www.pagasa.usd.gov.ph Mula sa Pag-asa, Weather Forecasting Section, ako po sa Alzardi Aurelio. US TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSM BFI Building, 318 Santolon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITAV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.citav.net. Jel Miranda would like to thank Dita Sandico, Atrium Hotel, managed by Icon Hotel. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOSTV, the program that delivers science for the people. Thank you.